abnegation just dwells a little bit. And uh, Nickel Joe, one of the first to show from Irish Bay on the outside in prime display, and Alta Retza going up to join him as they jump the first. Nickel Joe just landed in the lead there. And uh, Fowler at that one. Uh, Fairfield's Cone has gone at that one. Fairfield's Cone has gone at the first. And Olympian has taken it up. Olympian has now taken it up from uh, Nickel Joe. In comes uh, San Lorenzo, just in behind uh, San Lorenzo is Anakam Run and then Peanuts Pet. And Olympian, the clear leader now. Olympian going on, Yellow Spring has moved up into a prominent position. Nickel Joe, and just in behind Nickel Joe is Anakam Run and then Prime Display, then Irish Bay. And Olympian now, the very clear leader. Olympian from Yellow Spring. Behind Yellow Spring is Nickel Joe, then Anakam Run and Peanuts Pet over the third. Olympian, well clear. All the remainder safely over that one. Olympian from Yellow Spring. And Andrews first is last at the moment. Took him a long time to warm up at uh, Haydock. And uh, he's the absolute back marker currently. So the, the two favorites first and last at the moment with Olympian and Peter Scudamore taking him along from Yellow Spring. Behind uh, Yellow Spring is Anakam Run, Fox Chapel on the near side. And on the far side, the gray Nickel Joe, Olympian from Yellow Spring still in second with Anakam Run third, Nickel Joe four, Fox Chapel five, just in behind them Bishop's Island and then Peanuts Pet and Belafonte behind Belafonte is Altaretza and then Galatine behind Galatine is Celsius and then Andermatt and then on the inside San Lorenzo, Abnegation on the outer and being pulled up a prime display in Irish Bay, they're out of it, prime display in Irish Bay, both out of it and Olympian still the leader as they come down to the fifth from Yellow Spring, Anakam Run, Nickel Joe on the inside, Peanuts Pet on the outer with Bishop's Island and Galatine who's made good progress towards the outer. The, the uh, well-backed Andrews first still with a lot to do, he's only got one behind him and that's Metal Wazo and Peter Scudamore still cutting it out. From Yellow Spring, Olympian from Yellow Spring, Anakam Run right up there, Belafonte and Galatine as they jump the six come next. Then Andermatt on the outside. Racing left-handed now with four left to jump and still Olympian from Yellow Spring. Then comes Anakam Run, Belafonte, Galatine right up there. Nickel Joe in behind them with Antomat and then Altaretza and then making a bit of progress is San Lorenzo racing towards the top of the hill. Olympian, the leader by about four now. From Yellow Spring, Belafonte is third, Galatine is fourth. San Lorenzo still moving through the field into fifth. Antomat comes sixth. And uh, now beginning to make progress from the rear is Andrews first. Coming down now towards the third last though. And it's Olympian the leader from Yellow Spring. Belafonte and San Lorenzo still making progress. Balasani is making ground as well. So is Andermatt. And Andrews first to fall there. Andrews first has gone at that one and he's brought down Peanuts Pet. They're coming to the second last now with Olympian the leader. Olympian coming to the second last in this Coral Handicap and he goes through it but gets away with it. Olympian rounding the home turn under Peter Scudamore from Yellow Spring. Then comes San Lorenzo, then Belafonte racing towards the final flight. Abnegations making ground from the rear. But Olympian is well clear as they come to the final flight in the Coral Cup. Olympian lands in the lead from Yellow Spring. 
Then San Lorenzo, Silla Stalker making ground on the far side. But it's Olympian now from Silla Stalker moving into second as they race up towards the line. Olympian from Silla Stalker in Yellow Spring. And Olympian wins it. Olympian wins the Coral Cup with Silla Stalker second and third Yellow Spring. It's a photo for fourth with just possibly getting up to be fourth abnegation. And so a tremendous double here, which qualifies for a giant bonus from Sunderland's, the bookmakers responsible for sponsoring the Imperial Cup with Olympian, completing an unprecedented double by winning the Imperial Cup and the Coral Cup here at Cheltenham. And the result of the Coral Cup is first, number 20, Olympian, owned by m and Plant Limited, trained by the amazing Martin Pipe and written by Peter Scudamore. Second was number 11, Scylla Stalker. Owned by Mr. R. Hale, trained by Mrs. Linda Ramsden and written by Mr. Richard Hale. And third was number nine, the long-time uh, prominent Yellow Spring, owned by Mrs. R. Howell, trained by Gordy Grissel and written by Peter Hobbs and it's a photograph officially for fourth place with abnegation possibly just having got up to short head san lorenzo this is just the most amazing feat to make all only four days having after having won a major race at sandown park to do this is quite incredible uh, m m plant is actually jim neville a keen uh, racehorse only had a, a share in Prince Ferdinand, who was a good flat winner for Matt McCormack last summer, been sold abroad now, and he owns this one outright. Look at the distance between them. Having won 20 grand on Saturday in the Sunderlands, 40 grand a day, he gets a 50,000 pound bonus. Well, Martin Pipe did something to win the champion hurdle with Granville again, but this horse must have given him great pleasure. Just four days after winning a major race to come out and floor such a big field here of handicappers, and he must be um, a, a well ahead of the handicapper. It's his third win in 11 days. Quite amazing, I must say, and an easy victory. Silla Stalker, though, runs on very well to take second somewhere ahead there of Yellow Spring, who's run a good race for much of the way, been way up amongst the leaders all the way. So this first running of the Coral Cup handicap hurdle, it's the rich, richest handicap hurdle, and uh, Olympian went in at four to one joint favorite. I know connections back.